Welcome to Investing and Entrepreneurship. Here on another Hylion video. Who is Hylion's competition? What is the competition of Hylion? Well, let's explore that. Is Hylion really competing against diesel trucks? There is some out there that think that Hylion's competition is the diesel trucks. But are the diesel trucks really Hylion's competition? Because my view, how I see it, let me know if you see it this way too. Diesel trucks are not really Hylion's competition. Hylion's not competing against the diesel trucks. In my view, Hylion's purpose is to provide solutions to the fleets and the truck operators provide solutions for this new environment where the government, government regulation, environmental policy, and the need to comply with these new policies and new government regulations are forcing fleets to adopt trucks that don't burn diesel, trucks that run on cleaner fuels like electric full electric or hydrogen however natural gas is also a fuel that is much cleaner than diesel and even though natural gas some of it is from fossil it's a fossil fuel pretty much still burns a lot cleaner but there's also renewable natural gas which is pretty much uh, gas produced or extracted from recycling. I'm not going to get into it on this one. But RNG, renewable natural gas. So, I don't really see that Hylian is competing against the diesels. So, for the purpose of this video, let's eliminate the diesel trucks as Hylian's competition. And let's start to focus on the other players or the other companies that are also producing trucks that are either electric, run on natural gas, or as in Hylian's case, trucks, hyper trucks that have an iteration of fuels that they run on. So starting with the hybrid, which is taking the diesel trucks and adding electric components to allow for more fuel efficiency and recuperating some of the synergy or some of the forces, physical forces, force of physics that allow batteries to be recharged, like regenerative braking, right? But I don't want to get too far into the details of the technology. But who else builds or... or revamps or readapts diesel trucks to do the same thing to pretty much electrify components there's a few companies out there there's one in canada there's one in australia there's one in europe but are they really a competition to hylian i don't know i can't even remember their names so if anybody knows who i'm talking about drop it i can't remember the names but I've seen them. But are they really a competition to Hylian? For sure not in the United States. Well, how about ERX? ERX is a hyper truck that runs on natural gas. And if we look at companies that make natural trucks that run on natural gas, there's a few. And I would say that the most formidable competition that Hylian has in that regard is Volvo even though Packer makes um, Kenworths that run on natural gas doesn't have a lot of them International makes trucks that run on natural gas but they're pretty much using the Cummins natural gas engine so is are they really competition to Hylian Nobody has an actual natural gas truck 
that produces electricity and actually runs on electricity. Nobody's natural gas trucks actually has e-axles. So are those really a competition to Hylian? I don't think so. Well, what about the hyper truck, the fuel cell hyper truck? Well, I think with the hyper, with the fuel cell hyper truck, Hylian does start to find more competition. But how formidable is the competition? Okay, you got Packer with the freight line, with the Kenworth that actually has a fuel cell. There's a fuel cell Kenworth and there's a full BV Kenworth. And uh, the one with the fuel cell is through a partnership between Kenworth and Toyota. But remember, the owner of Kenworth is Packer. So when we talk Kenworth or Peterbilt, we're also talking Packer. So is Packer the competition of Hylian? Is that Kenworth a competitor to Hylian? Well, it does compete with the uh, Hypertruck fuel cell that's coming out. And what about the BV? It, it has a full electric. Hylian's not planning to make full electric trucks. So how much of a competition is Packer? Remember, Packer is also supplying Hylian with the Peterbilts. And Cummins is also supplying Hylian with not only the 15 liter natural gas engine, which is gonna replace the 12 liter, but it's also supplying Hylian with the E-axles and some other components through Meritor because Meritor is Hylian's vendor, supplier for the E-axles, and Meritor is owned by Cummins. So how formidable and who are these people really competition to Hylian? We can start talking about Nikola. Is Nikola really competition to Hylian? Are they really in the same line of business? I don't think so. And I know both of them. I know what Nikola's doing and I know what Hylian's doing. So does Hylian really have competition? Not only that, let's explore this further. Let's explore Hylian's software. Hylian's application technology the actual software right now it's one stack of software that's going to be used on the ex the erx the fuel cell ev the carnal hyper truck so one software that a fleet can use one stack of software and integrate it to all their versions of trucks not only that with hylion if a fleet already has existing diesel trucks, they could take those trucks and also convert them to hybrids and install the software. So you can have a whole fleet running only one stack of software where as of one fleet has to have a few trucks from Nikola, a few trucks from Tesla, a few trucks from Volvo, a few trucks from BYD, a few trucks from International, or so on and so on, what's the benefit to them? Because each one of these trucks, for sure, the Nikola has its own software, Tesla has its own software. So what's the benefit? Is it really competitive for a fleet to have all this variety of different OEMs or different software, different trucks that run on different software? Is that really gonna be competitive for the fleets? Or is it gonna be more competitive that they only purchase trucks from Hylion and have them all running on the same software? You know, have all the updates coming from one person, have only one tech support for all the trucks. Cause you really gotta look at these trucks of the future like computers on wheels. You really have to understand that the next big shift to trucking is automation. It's literally trucks autonomous trucks trucks that don't need a driver trucks that are remotely operated just like a drone through gps so anyways this video is only meant to be thought provoking and is lining up the conversation for the next friday video and potentially the next few friday videos because as of right now everybody's interested in who is hylion's competition 
So let's explore that. Let's have that conversation on the comment section. Everybody, comment. Who do you think Hylian's competition is? This is Investing and Entrepreneurship. Comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. But hmm, who is Hylian's competition?